So as Trump, the one-term president, I'm calling it one-term president, uh, circles the drain, right? Now he's he's going after, you know, this this uh, Chinese Chinese uh, tariff. T- tax the Chinese another 15% on all imports. So stupid. Uh, so this is this is Trump's idea of of uh, of uh, he's gonna he's creating a trade war. But what happened was, you think that the United States is good with propaganda? <laughs> the Chinese man, Chinese government is right now pumping the Chinese people with the idea that the United States are the enemy. China right, now believes that the people, uh, greed, the greed and arrogance. They're running it in their papers. Right? They call the the uh, calling. Uh, calling it a people's war, right? This is the Chinese mainstream media. Right? It's, a, it's the it's the same here. It's a, it's state media, right? We have state media, but we still have a First Amendment right. So if you're lucky enough to get to YouTube and hear, you know, people speak the truth, then you can kind of circumvent that for a while until people like me get cut off or whatever people that do what I do get cut off. But in China, you don't really have that luxury. So they're, they're targeted more aggressively in terms of the fake news media. But we're getting there. We're on our way. There's no doubt about it. Right? So, so, uh, so what their fake news media is telling them is that um, uh, it, they're calling for a people's war targeting the U.S. with precision as China begins a, quote, fight for a new world, whatever that means. Right? So they're basically saying boycott in China, the entire country and all its people are being threatened. For us, this is the real people's war. Wow. So, so, so does he know what he's doing, Trump? Of course he doesn't know what he's doing. Right? So the fucking tariff, right? All right? Tariff, this is Trump's tweeting out. Trump tweeted on Monday, quote, tariffs are now being paid to the United States by China of 25% on $250 billion worth of goods and products. These massive payments go directly to the Treasury of the United States. No, they don't. They don't. So in exchange, what China has now done is they've jacked. U.S. put up $250 billion in tariffs. China put up $300 billion, right? So they just went tit for tat, right? All the prices of the, of the, of the little things that we buy from China, now it's going to go up, right? And people are going to have less money. Right? It's so fucking stupid. St- fucking stupid. We went from... From bad trade, TTP, now we go to stupid trade. Ig- ignorant, ignorant fucking trade, right? It is U.S. companies that import, retailers, wholesalers, and manufacturers that pay the duties that Trump has imposed, not Chinese companies. One of Trump's top economic advisors, Larry Kudlow, admitted as such in a television interview on Sunday, right? Uh, so so, so it's just we just get hit with the... It's just, it's just it's just a stupid idea, right? So the Chinese people are now viewing it. Let's read. While market mood is shifting, uh, it is shifting. I'm looking at the Dow right now. See this cliff cliffhanger, right? So again, it tried the it tried the top. This is Trump. This is the last uh, six months or a year. Tried a top. It tried another top and failed, right? And now it tried another top, a third top, and failed. Right? And now we're here. Today it'll open up. The Dow futures are going to open up 200 down. So, so again, we're going, we're going in the landslide. It doesn't go straight up. It doesn't go straight down or straight up. Right? And if you pull it back a little bit, we're in target to... Uh, what the hell is going on? Wow, wow. Let's hold on a second. I want you to see the, the full breadth of the market. Right? So here we, here we go. I mean, this is... Technical analysis, right? This is 2009. It runs, 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 runs. And now we're at this third cliffhanger, right? Now, are we in a bear market technically? We were at this point. And now this is a very, very odd reversal, right? So we'll see what happens. But anyway, so as I was saying, I digressed. So Trump's various uh, members of the Chinese ruling elite, one would be hard-pressed to find any de-escalation amid the Chinese press commentaries written in the aftermath of the latest escalation in the trade war. He created a culture war. Right? Now Trump is moving, we're moving away from trade war. Now we're moving into a cultural war. Right? You're going to get you're going to get a billion Chinese that hate the Americans because because they're stupid and arrogant and they they're they're squeezing their economy. Right? I'm not saying that that the trade is 
It's just backwards, right? You don't you don't give you don't give corporations every break and every incentive to take their business overseas and trade with China and manufacture in China and then turn around and say, uh, uh, oh, no, no, it's China's fault. No, you gave them the incentive to do what you're doing. You created China. Right? You created that, that situation by giving tax breaks to billionaire you know, class and um, and 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 making them uh, allowing them to avoid paying tax, right? You created the situation. Now you don't turn around and blame them for your actions, right? That's 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 what's going on, right? So and the Chinese people see, right? Chinese culture is four thousand years old, right? They're very they're very smart. They'll they'll just wait it out. They'll wait for Trump to go away, and then they'll just keep doing what they're doing, right? right? Unless the United States changes its policies, but there is no change under this. This administration is just going to get worse and worse, right? He's playing, he's playing hardball, and he's 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 just playing hardball, right? When when everybody else has uh, you know big guns, right? it's just it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But uh, so so again, the, the what I'm trying to say in this in this piece right here is that that instead of a I'll just I'm going to kill it right here. <laughs> instead of a a a uh, tr Trump thinks of it as a trade war oh he's so savvy he's going to play 4d chess with the chinese and he's gonna he's gonna navigate and manipulate uh, uh, us into better trade right? fucking the, the world looks at you as like a, a blundering fool right? it's just so stupid right so so now we have a cultural war so if you ever wanted to travel to china now you can go there and they're gonna look at you again like the you know like it's a cold war that's what you do. You create cold wars so that when people, when we travel to China or try to do business in China, they look at us as the dumb Americans, right? It's detrimental to business there. It's de detrimental to our well-being by executing ill-planned, uh, ill-thought-out, amateur moves like a trade war with China. Right? That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So uh, Marcus Conti reporting, become a Patreon of this channel. And uh, kindly subscribe and uh, you know what I mean? Marcus Conti reporting.